What's going on, people? It's another beautiful day in the city, man. I am here in the city of Gardena, California, man. I don't come down here too much, but I'm here today, man. A special birdie told me this place we at has the best catfish, the best chicken wings, the best everything in the city, man. So y'all know I gotta pull up and see what's going on. And I have a special guest. Man, put some respect on this man's name. He's an NBA champion. We got Matt Barnes in the building, baby. Turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick. I got money busting out the money clip. Make a call and hit another lick. Someone get the money counter, I can keep on thumbing it. Turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick. I got money busting out the money clip. Make a call and hit another lick. Someone get the money counter, I can keep on thumbing it. What's going on with you, big dog? Appreciate you coming out here to Gardena, man, yeah. and checking us out. Yeah, look, now you yeah. talking your stuff, man. You yeah. talking about y'all got the best yeah. out here, yeah? Yeah, man, we got some catfish, we got wings, we got some loaded fries. So we're a Creole, New Orleans-based company that my homeboy Greg started, brought out to Cali. But we put a little L.A. twist on it. We did a little bit of things for our L.A. people, like the loaded fries. Okay. You know, we got some fire peach cobbler. I'm not a big dessert fan, but I heard it's fire. I don't really do the dessert, but we okay, go. Okay, okay. Well, you got to keep it nice and right out here, you know. <laughs> not in the NBA no more, but yeah. you still stay in shape. You yeah. know, you can't be doing all the tweets like that. Yeah. When you come to Weed Ads, what do you have to try? You got to try the, the, the fish plate, the two pieces of fish. You got to try the wings. The wings are fired. And then a new ad, which was one of my requests, is the loaded fries. So oh. I haven't tried the loaded fries since we've added it to the menu so that's what i'm most excited about but i mean yeah the the, the catfish the wings are fire well cool man i'm excited i'm sweating my hairline off out here man <laughs> let's get inside and see what's going on i'm a f up sweating my hairline off everyone was to have it all got close never froze had to risk it all as a little boy i wish i was a little tall never made the league i find other ways to let me ball turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick i got money busting out the money clip Make a call and hit another lick. Someone get the money counter, I can keep a thumb in it. Turn a 10 piece to a 20 quick. I got money busting out the money clip. Make a call and hit another lick. Someone get the money counter, I can keep a thumb in it. Let's get it. After you, my man. Come we on, with it, that. Let's do it. It's Jeez. Okay, okay, look. This place is well put together, man. I like this. It's, it's giving me real franchise. Vibes, just just simple. You know? This is the, again, this is the first one in California. Yeah. Uh, we just opened up about three months ago, so traffic has been solid. We know bringing you here is going to pick up our traffic, so we definitely. I, I pray, man. I appreciate I pray, that. I tell everybody the same thing, man. I don't care who you are. Yeah. I got to tell the, the truth. truth. That's okay? all we ask. That's what the people expect from you, man. That's, That's all what we expect. That's but all you know, we by the way, it's. Smelling in here. Y'all yeah, <laughs> might be cooking up. with grease. <laughs> we definitely cooking up, man. So I'm excited for you guys to try, man. The, like I said, the wings, the catfish, the loaded fries. You said you want to touch on that peach cobbler. So I'm, I'm interested to hear your honest opinion. So yeah, we back here in the kitchen, man. See in the kitchen with him, man. Y'all know how to get the back magic in the is. Look at my man's back here. My man, Big Josh, is, <laughs> is back here working. He just dropped some fries. What else we got? We got some wings. We got some fish. Yeah. We got some chicken. We got the chicken wrap. We do a double fry in the chicken. We do a double drop. Double fry on the chicken. That's wild, man. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, hold on. Yeah. Yo. Like that. Hey, one thing I'll say about this kitchen, man, it's mad clean back here. I, I like that. Got to. You gotta know be, what I mean? Gotta be. I got OCD. I got six kids. So anything I do from my house to business, we got to keep everything clean and neat. And, yeah. you know, I mean, obviously I know that, you know, the, 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 uh, the customers would appreciate that. Yeah. So wait, how long you been cooking, big dog? Uh, I've been cooking now for about seven years. Seven years. So what's the secret? Cause y'all got a lot of fried stuff on the menu. What's the secret to a good fried chicken, fried fish, whatever? Love. 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 Yeah. Love and common sense. Whole lot of love. Common sense. Uh-oh. Time out. <laughs> Yo, you better preach to him. You better preach to him, man. Oh, come out of that. Uh, from the smoke and all my Preaching all that I can see. All this love is here. Feeling myself, feeling myself. 
Okay. This is the swine, the fried shrimp, and fries. Okay. And then we got the other brown special with catfish. Oh, yeah, wait, what is swine? Swine is a cleaner touch version. It's a freshwater fish, whiter fish. Really? Not, yeah, not so much as the bottom fish. Okay, 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 okay. We got any, uh, any hot sauce? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Hot sauce, man. Y'all huh? know me. Yep. I love my tartar sauce and hot sauce combo, man. You had that before? No, nah, yeah. You ain't I'm about to put them on. See, put me on game. <laughs> I'm about to put them on. <laughs> put me on. Yeah. So we got a tartar and a, and a hot sauce combo, huh? We got the cocktail sauce. Dude, I've never had swai before. Yeah. It's good? Yeah. It's good? Have you had swai? I have not. Dude, I didn't even know what that was. Yes, sir. I need that limon. You know? That limon. <laughs> so how you doing? Oh, what, what, my God. Right, what we got oh, next? We got more food coming. Yeah, we got the LA hot. Chicken sandwich. Ooh. Yes, sir. I mean, mm -hmm. fish sandwich. Ooh. Oh my God. Oh, we get full today. We might need to take we a nap after today. this. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, look at that. We man. might need to take a nap. And we still got the loaded fries coming. Loaded fries too. So tell me what the secret to the to the uh, the hot sauce and, and, and tartar sauce combo. Well, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I'm glad well, you asked. Since you <laughs> asked. So since I was a kid, man, I've always loved mixing everything. Okay. So, dude, I when I whenever I see a sauce or mm -hmm. uh, anything that can be mixed, I always mix it. So, I always. Oh my God! There we go. Oh yeah. Who that? We did. <laughs> Dude, I like it. Mm. This tastes really fresh. Like, I like how it's not over seasoned, dude. They got the red beans and rice. Mm. Oh, yeah. Dude, this feast in front of me right now is absolutely insane. Y'all know I love anything fried, okay? I'm gonna go for this swine, man. I ain't never had no, no swine. Hit me in the comments if y'all know what swine is and let me know if you like it or not. I'm gonna definitely throw that in my hot sauce, tartar sauce combo. I'm not gonna lie, this hot sauce and tartar sauce combo is something I will use for the rest of my life. I appreciate you. I like to hear. I appreciate you. <laughs> mm. But the, fresh is, the fish is fresh, light. I do like this. It's, it's like much lighter mm -hmm. than a typical like half and juice on them. I almost feel kind of healthy eating this, you know what I mean? I know it's fried, but dude, the thing I like most about the batter so far for everybody watching at home, is it's not overly salty, no. uh -uh. but it still tastes like something, you know what I mean? I don't feel like I'm gonna walk out of here with hot blood pressure, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I dig that. You might walk out of here high, but not with, <laughs> blood, not with blood pressure. What made you even want to open up a restaurant in the first place, man? Just kind of diversify what I'm doing. You know, I'm, I'm sorry, pause, pause, continue. Diversify what I'm doing. Um, you know, since I retired from the NBA, I've, I've got into the to content media space and- Yeah, your podcast is going crazy. Podcast is going crazy, appreciate that. Started our own production company. And how else can we do stuff that, that, that we like to do? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So obviously, you know, my, my brother Gene, my partner in this, um, his son played for my AU team. And he's always wanted to cook for all the team parties, come cook for the family. And I'm like, man, let's just do a restaurant. So we found our brother Greg from New Orleans. Uh, he has a couple of these weed ass uh, out, out east, mm. and uh, um, oh, so weed ass is a franchise. Yeah, so this is I want. I think this is the fourth. This is the first in California. Mm -hmm. I think this is the fourth overall. Um, and I really like the food. They started catering our birthday parties. I'm like, this is this is fire. So Gene and Greg connected, and then we're like, hey, let's bring one of these to uh, LA and see what happens. Wow. So, okay. so which one of these things is your favorite thing on the menu? I would probably say the fish. In the in the in the in the chicken wings that haven't been brought out yet, okay, and then okay. like I said earlier, I'm excited about the loaded fries because the loaded fries is new to the menu. Wow. Loaded fries is really an LA thing. It's so a very we, L dude. I've eaten so many loaded <laughs> fries yeah. since I've been in LA. Yeah, I done had uh, chili cheese fries, pastrami chili cheese fries. People love pastrami in LA, dude. That's one thing I've I've never had pastrami until I came to LA. Mm. But look at this fish sandwich, though, man. This is a literal fillet. 
between two slices of bread. I love that. You know, you gotta have your little roll to soak everything up. Oh, this is like a, this is like a filet of fish on steroids. This is insane. I'm ready for it though. I, like, I don't even know what you're hitting it. Come on, man. Okay. I'll take it from the middle. You got to tear the dog. You got to tear the front part off. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. How's the flavor? I think that's cool, but I think I like, I prefer the fish without the bread. Just you know? naked. Yeah, you know, I like it. Yeah, I, I, I eat the fish naked. You know yeah. what I mean? These coconut shrimps are, haven't got a chance to try yet. We're gonna see what they do. Mm. Yeah, I stand on that. I think the fish is better without, without the bread. bun and stuff, man. We're taking notes. Come on, that's what we need. We need your expert opinion. <laughs> Why would we call myself an expert? I think I'm just a regular dude yeah. who enjoys food. Well, there you go. You know what I mean? And I think that's why people watch, because you know, I feel like I'm no Gordon Ramsay, I'm no Guy Fieri or whatever. I'm just a regular dude out here trying to find some food I like, man. Mm -hmm. So wait, where are you from originally? I'm from Northern California. Northern um, California. So San Jose and Sacramento is where I was raised and I came to UCLA for college and just never left LA. Really? So I, I, feel, I feel like I'm a California guy through and through. So when did you realize you were like super good at basketball, man? Um, just, you know, as I just continue to get older, continue to play and continue where, you know, when I was at UCLA, we were fortunate enough to be able to play in the men's gym where they had a lot of professional runs. So we were playing with Shaq and Kobe and the Paul Pierce's and while you were in college, while I was in college, they, they would, you know, they would be on our campus playing. So I got a chance to play with a lot of those guys early and, you know, did well and was able to turn that into a 15 year NBA career. That's insane, man. And your sons, man, you got two twin boys going crazy right now, man. How has that been just like as a dad watching your boys? Just I like... feel like it's the greatest thing I've ever accomplished. I've got three sons, another son on the way in about a month, and then I have three stepkids. So man, we got a full house. We're about to have seven kids come September. So I mean, I've accomplished a lot of stuff on the court and off the court, but fatherhood is what I'm most proud about. But then obviously, come on to bring that mac and cheese in. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank this you, this sir. is new to the menu, right? Yes, we just added mac and cheese to the menu. But, uh, you know, as you said, I mean, the, the twins are 15 now and, and, and really starting to grasp and understand the game and get bigger as they do it. So it's, it's just been fun coaching them, training them and, and watching their growth as young men. Wow, that's amazing, you know? man. That's yeah. amazing, dude. That's amazing. My man just brought us some sides right here. Come on, check out the sides. Look at that. Uh oh, what you got right there? It's the LA hot honey fries with the shrimp on top. Uh oh. Talk to me nice. It's a hot honey <laughs> fries. The hot honey fries with shrimp, with shrimp on top. top. That's wild. That's sexy right there. Dude, all right, so wait. I know there's a big debate amongst a lot of people. Some people like their mac and cheese dry, and some people like it creamy. What do you, how do you like your mac? I feel like that should taste good. Yeah, just Very good. If it tastes good, it's good, yeah, it's good, good with you. I'm gonna slide in that right there. Okay, I can already tell it's looking mad creamy. You know what I mean? I, I, and for those of you that wonder, I like my mac and cheese creamy. I don't like the dry kind, man. I like it creamy and I like, I like it saucy, you know what I mean? What we got? Uh-oh, he's smacking like it needs some work. What's the flavor? <laughs> Does it need some work or some flavor? <laughs> I, think, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Is it my favorite mac? It don't have it's to be, yeah, okay. Mac. It's not like my favorite mac. But I will, the thing I do like about it is that it does have a nice sauce. I would say maybe a little bit more cheese, maybe get you a nice little crust formed on top. There you go. I think it'll be cooking Come on, man. right there, man. You know what I mean? We want, we want to be for the people, so we love all notes. <laughs> any any suggestions? You know what I mean? We, we for the people, man. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I'll take the red beans and rice over the mac, man. That's good. That's certified right there. You might want to get you a little bit of that. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. What you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the move. That's I'm, the way. I'm gonna throw some hot sauce on it. But yeah. <laughs> so the fish and the and, and the potato salad. Yeah. So this is just another one of my combinations, man. I grew up eating catfish with potato salad, so I like to eat them both. 
why is my cameraman back there making the stank face? <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a good catfish. Yeah. That was a good catfish. Mm-hmm. The spice was good, but the catfish The great. catfish is catfish, <laughs> yeah. The catfish is catfishing. Being in the NBA, man, you were on quite a few different teams, right? Mm-hmm. Talk to me a little bit. How does that work, bro? Just have the, you know, you go to one team, you got a contract, but then all of a sudden you're on another team. The business. Team. The business. Yeah. It, it, it's hard to say you're not supposed to have feelings, but we're human. Yeah. But it kind of is what it is, and you got to be professional, and you got to you know, put your best foot forward. You know, every opportunity you got. You know, I was a second round pick who had to go through the developmental league and had to really grind and, and, and scratch and claw to get my footing in the league. And then once I did, it was, you know, I got to make a bunch of money for putting a ball through a hoop. You know what I mean? So I got a, you know, got, got a chance to live my dream out and, and was able to transition from sports to media. And yeah. now I'm taking off in media too. So I don't really feel like I've worked ever. You know wow. what I mean? I've never had a real job. <laughs> uh, you know, I played basketball and chicken over here in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, then transition into media, which is fun too. So I, I really feel like, you know, I've just been tremendously blessed to be able to have these opportunities and, and touch the lives I've touched and, and be able to do different things. You know, I've never really been into the food space. I always like to eat, but never been into this food space. So we're mm -hmm. starting this. We're also gonna have to have you come to our barbecue spot. We're in the process of of, of getting. So we're oh, gonna, you getting barbecue too. We're gonna have a barbecue spot uh -oh. soon. Yeah, man. So we're you know we're we're, we're touching a, a few different lanes in the food space, man, and uh, we're excited about it. So you mentioned your production company, man. Yep. What other types of projects are you guys working on, putting out? Man, docs, scripted series, uh, pods, uh, but we want to be a full fledged media production company. So we're we're across the board. We just started at the top of this year. We've launched five shows already. All have been very successful. We're about launching four more in the next month, uh, working on some big time documentaries that I can't talk about yet, but you guys will, once I can, you guys will definitely see them. It's definitely for the culture. So I'm uh, really just excited to be able to give athletes a voice and a safe space to come tell their stories and not have other people tell their stories. Uh-oh. This man keep bringing food out. What you got? Yeah. I know you like the lemon pepper, so we brought some yeah. lemon pepper chicken sandwich. What? Oof. The I've wind. got the wind. That's what I've been waiting on. Like. Sandwich. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the wings is what I've really been waiting on. And we got the smoking chipotle loaded fries. Oh my oh, god, shit, we about to have this whole thing full of food. Yeah. I'm telling you that right now. I'm taking all the leftovers <laughs> for my kids. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. Okay, now the wings. I have been waiting on the wings. Y'all know I've been so on this the is, wings. What are the flavors again? This yes. is. Honey garlic, right? honey garlic and wazam. Oh my god! So what's behind wazam? The behind the wazam is like a buffalo lemon pepper sauce. Oh okay. Y'all don't need no ranch. <laughs> Taste the other ones too. Wow. So it's funny, you you, you mentioned the size. Uh-huh. I've never been a, a a guy that like the big wings. I like the like the good yeah. medium size. Real. Yes. The medium sized wings. So we wanted to make sure we captured that here. Wait, what is this one right here? The Shazam. Shazam. Muzam. 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 The Muzam? What? Wazam. W. The Wazam. The Wazam. Was it? And it's like a, I'm just trying to guess. How about that? Yeah, you'll be able to taste what's on there. <laughs> just fresh off the grill. <laughs> mm. I get a little bit of uh, 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 lemon pepper, yeah. uh, a little bit of uh, buffalo. Yep. Mm hmm Yeah. This is a lemon pepper buffalo situation. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Hey. The wings. And that's real. Our first place for me right now. That's different. <laughs> oh, look at that. This is the LA Hot Honey Chicken Sandwich. Y'all know I got to sauce it up, baby. Sauce, Give man. The ranch. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Dude. The chicken sandwiches have been on the rise. The rub? I don't know what the, the seasoning rub with the with the with the sweetness from the honey. The chicken's juicy. 
It's fire. It's no, the weed hat. Gonna... It's the weed hat. fire. The weed hat seasoning. The guy that started this company also has a line of seasonings as well. Really? Yeah. Well, I need y'all to ship some of that to my career, <laughs> So what got you into, you know, in, into the food space and kind of making a name for yourself in this space? Man, I started doing food reviews on TikTok back during COVID in 2020. I did it for like one month and I got like 20,000 followers online. I remember I posted my first video, it got like 200 views, posted another one, 400 views. And then my third video, I uh, went to a food court downtown and I accidentally called an escalator and elevator. And people was roasting me for that in the comments. It got like 20,000 views, but my video started getting views back then. But back then I was working a job, I was working in sales mm -hmm. and it was way too much, man, way too much. Uh, I was getting fat. I was like, man, ain't <laughs> I wasn't making no money. And I'm like, I'm getting right. fat for no reason, man. So I stopped. Then back in February of last year is when I picked up on uh, Instagram. April, I started YouTube, man, and it's been crazy, dude. And I think the thing that really makes my content go the way that it is is obviously the community, the people. Um, honesty. The honesty. And I go to a lot of places that people don't normally go to, you know? I, I support a lot of the little guys in the community. I go to a lot of places that are south of the 10. I'm not from here originally, so I never knew that I was in, you know, the, the dangerous parts of town and all that. I just looking know. for good food. Yeah, yeah, I'm just looking for good food. I start reading the comments. They're like, Don Lemon, you risking your life for a piece of chicken, man. You know, <laughs> Cuba Food and Junior out there about to get murdered for a murder. It's like, what? Dude, I have no idea. <laughs> you know, I'm just looking for good food, man, but it's been a blessing, bro. Right. I love the people. I appreciate everybody who tunes in to this content week after week after week. You guys have definitely changed my life. And I will forever, forever, forever be grateful to you guys. Seriously. Well, we appreciate you, man. Oh, you're sweating in the, in the sandwich. Yeah, man. we appreciate you taking your time and, and coming to check us out. And you know, again, we hope you like what you've seen, like what you ate, and 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 we'll return or or, or hit us up on DoorDash. <laughs> so, what's next for Matt Barnes, man? Oh uh, man, just continuing to build this content production company, uh, media company, and then also expanding into the food spaces. So, you know, we have, you know, aspirations to get into barbecue next, uh, making a barbecue sports bar. So be looking out for that, hopefully by the end of this year, or top of 25. And that's it, man. We'll just, just, just see what, uh, you know, see what God throws at us. Indeed. Well, if you guys are in the Gardena area, anywhere around South Bay, shit, even if you live in L.A., come on. gonna be fire man red beans and rice you can't miss that either if you guys want to see more content like this be sure to like subscribe comment and let a brother know where should i go next